Hey guys, welcome back to my new video. So today I'm with Nicholas's figure reviews for very long. And today we're gonna talk about um Figma Kamen Rider Dragon Knight, um Kamen Rider X for English. If it's real key, it'll be Kamen Rider Tiger. Yeah. 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 So as you can see in the box here, it's a Figma. And I don't know why. And Nicholas here is gonna explain why why uh, why is it Dragon Knight Figma instead of SHF? Okay, so this is kind of unusual because uh, the Figma Dragonite series, they're already quite old for a few years, but if some of you still don't know, the reason why Figma couldn't do Kamen Rider Ryuki is because of licensing issues, because you know how Bandai already has the license for Kamen Rider, so Figma can only do the English one, so that's kind of it. Uh. Now but that... Figma figures, like... For the Kamen Riders as Figma figures, they are quite decent and they hide joints better because they have a lot of PVC parts and lots of hands. Lots of hands. So and I'm they're more simplified. More so basically I'm just gonna experience So basically I'm just gonna experience how a Figma looks like. And in case you don't know, this sign here is really slanted. Yeah, they do the printing. Oh wait, all of the packaging the the main the main thing is slanted. It's just the printing. Uh, uh, can't blame. At least, at least it looks okay. Okay, so here's how the box look like. Oh my god, the lighting is so bad. You know the new light I got. And then here's the side. And yeah. The articulation, it comes with the strike van and posability it comes with the X2 because it's the scanner thing. It yeah. doesn't open? Wait, but are they but are they allowed to do like those um articulation for the scanner thing? No, they don't open up. Uh I see I see. And here's another side. This is Figma. Yep. So let's open. And it's really big though. To my surprise. Baby. Boxes are really big. Oh. Does all Figma come with the free stand? Yep. Oh, I see. It's really nice, like how they put this, and an extra one at the back. If you can see. Yeah, if if you can see clearly the symbol, there's a square around it, right? Yeah. And there's like dotted uh, patterns. Yeah, like the broken For glass. Figma, you can buy a separate uh, base, and then you can cut out that part so you can uh, customize the base. Ooh. So here's how it looks like. Yeah, and it comes with some awesome stuff here. So here's your final bank card, if you can't see. I'm just gonna light it up there. It's really nice, it's really well drawn now. Ah, to be honest. Oh, it's printed. Yeah. Looks drawn to me, but okay, open the flaps. Oh, literally, it's really good. So let's see the accessories. You get a... What's this? Oh, Ziploc bag. Just take my bag. Wow. Wow. I'm impressed. Really impressed. You get your set of hands. I'm trying so hard to... Yeah, your, your hands, which I haven't opened it. I'll open it later. And your stand thingy stuff. And then your instruction manual. Wow, it's really damn small. So small. Oh, you just show how you put the strike vent thing. Yo, so I'll just open. Oh, what's this? Ah, no, care about this plastic. Ay. Oh, get the figure out. Oops. Let's see. Grab the X out. I'm not gonna grab the cut out because I don't want to lose it in any other ways. Yeah, dangerous. So I'm just gonna leave this out, guys. Okay, now the main stuff. Gonna make X stand awkwardly again, like how I usually do, and open the goodies. First time touching a Figma, and I'm feeling very impressed. Why can't I touch it earlier? That SHS. So basically, this is the Figma stand. So is it like all the? Is it like all the same? Same. Are all the stands the same? Yeah. Uh, 
Wait, which one am I supposed to pick? Oh. But now the newer Figmas have more improvements. So, th since this is your first time handling Figma, right? I need to warn you of something like this. As you know, every Figma has a pack hole at the back, so you can put a stand into it, right? Yeah, so which one am I supposed to fit, fit first? The thinner one or the flatter one to this one? Or the flatter one goes in. Well, I don't get it. I don't get why doesn't this fit in so... Or you need to squeeze very hard because it's still a new figure. No. You no, know, I'll just do it later. Same, same thing goes for the, the pad that goes into the Figma's back. You need to squeeze it quite a bit. Uh, so it, need, it needs time to... But, but that you can do after review because for the older Figma's, uh, the, stand, the packs on the stands are really fragile. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, so it's best that you don't do that. Because... For the Figma itself, you can already stand it well, so there is the point in giving a stand. So I'm Give just gonna leave this up. Break. And here's your set of hands. Comes with a lot of hands. Molester hands. Holding hands, open wide spread palm hands, relaxed finger hands, final final van card holding hand. I'm just gonna leave you right there. Yeah. Like SHF. Here's the uh, X, the which doesn't pull up. But it looks great. Yeah. For the Figma line, right? Mm -hmm. X is one of the better Comrade Figmas on there because he actually is a really good figure. Oh, I see. And then the uh, Strike Band, which comes with this little transparent thing here. Oh, that's to prevent dust. Oh, oh, oh. But I mean, like, how amazing, like, how the claws is individually articulated yeah. is that what you call it yeah individually ball jointed yeah but, but it's be careful of it. oh serious because yeah. they're quite small exactly and it's very tight mm. legitly but that's just because it's new plastic so you need to like wiggle it a bit ouch before i damage it i gotta keep it first yes yeah. so we're gonna make him hold some stuff no i think it's best that you go through the figure first Oh yeah, I forgotten about the articulation and stuff. So basically, we'll go with the articulation, which I'm bad at. Yeah. So the head basically articulates from... The oh. pack and the head and the ball joint. Oh, serious? Oh, yeah. oh, it does. Oh, it does. Okay, you guys can't see. It's okay. there's, there's a lot of Figma joints. You don't really see a lot of ball joints, except in the hips. Oh. So basically, it can move up until here, down until here, left and it right. Can as well. Trying so hard. For, for the torso, you can like rip the whole figure apart. Yeah. So because easy. Because it's just a simple Figma pack. Oh. Yeah. That's how Figma's work. You can switch out parts. Wait, what? The belt, the advent deck doesn't remove. Doesn't get removed. No. It doesn't. Oh, does it? Only the SHF line does, right? Yeah, because SHF gimmicks accuracy. Okay, and over here I see it's hindered. The articulation here is hindered because of the chest. So it's under here and to here. Yeah. But at okay. least the shoulder pads are rubber, so it doesn't hinder that much. Oh, okay. Then your, you have your ankle. Ankle? I don't know what is it called. The hips are really interesting. Oh, serious? Because you see the crotch, the whole thing is made entirely out of PVC plastic, so it hides the joint really well. So the leg can move until here. Oh, if I yeah, get. it hides the joint really well. Oh, serious? It really weird. Oh, wait. So it moves until here this much, here, and here. Oh, I just realized it's like two pieces. Because mm. it's like, there's one like so called skirt here. I don't know if yeah. you guys can see. There's a skirt here. And there's another leg part. Is he supposed to go where this got? Yeah, and then you have this. Move on to here, and then the legs. Yeah, and that stuff. Yeah, and the belt moves by itself. So, it's a good thing. Right? Okay, so that's all I can say for the figure. Now we gotta make him some poses. Let's go. I think I might want to show them how to put on the claws. Yeah, I think I make show them how to put on the claws first. I know that you have to take out this transparent piece. 
Yeah, and for the figure, you just uh, plug out the arm from the bottom of the elbow joint. You Wait, just so wiggle it out. Wait, so I just wiggle it out like this? Oops. Let me take a look. Oh, it's from the bottom. Ow. Yeah, so it plugs in from the bottom. So... Oh, okay, I think I got the hang of it already. Wow, which one switch? I think it's this one. If you guys can't see on camera, I'm trying my best to do it on camera. So you see this hole here, just pick it in. Gotta wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. I hope I'm doing it right though. Wiggle. Oops. And the camera wants to fall. Give us a minute. Wait, does it like pick it in completely or what? You need to press it in all the way. Eh? Well, it does, I don't want to break it, so... Yeah, it won't break, no need worry. So, it also has... Uh, so, the claw can move by itself other than the ankle. The what? The ankle, though. The, the wrist, ah? Yeah. Oh, it can move. Yeah. It's a really tiny ball joint, but it works what it needs to do. So that's one down and one to go. Oops. I mean, like it's really simple, like how you remove the. Uh, I think masks are really simple. Oh god. Fake masks. So they are like the beginner version of SHFs or something. Well, they are, they, are, they do anime more. Oh okay. Well, isn't it great? Figman does Dragon Knight and SHF is currently doing Love Life. <laughs> Yay. Goodbye money. It's a sad thing I can't find Figma's Iron. Figma's are great for what they are. Okay, since there's a ball joint here, I'm just gonna remove it and peg it in slowly. Wait, so if I play around with a bit more, then the, the holes will loosen, right? Yeah. Ah, I see. I see. But it may get too loose. Oh, serious? So, yes. don't play with it that much. Ah, okay. It's, it's the same thing with the hands, the hands. The hands, if you take in and out the packs too long, like too much, they will get loose. I'm so, so, I'm so afraid of the claw joints right now. <laughs> Gonna make him do his final vamp pose or something similar to that, so... Yeah, final vamp pose. My bad, I like how the blue fits onto it though. Yeah. Ti Tiger looks really cool. Yes! I, I mean X. Oh yes, it's X. We can't do any copyright things. Yeah, and that's how you do his shenanigans. 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 I feel like they should like include one more space for like because you know there's like these two extra face and it's like oh you just plug it back in. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. My image is really nice though. Mm. Because like you already have this transparent pig here. Yes. And meanwhile he's playing with some stuff. In the background, cards. So to make him hold the X, I think it will be a uh, which one is it? Just any holding hand that you think it is. Oh, I think I'll try this. So it's just oh, it just plugs in like that and yeah, boom. The hands are flexible, so can hold anything. Oh, flexible, yes. Yes. So it you can do anything in your imagination. You can remove. Well, the... you can make him hold a Gundam weapon if that's what you want. He can hold Gundam weapons. Yeah, I mean like the hands are rubber, so you can just extend them. Oh my! But that's for your own playability. Yeah. And your own because desire. Are fun to play with because every figure comes with holding hands. So the remove is just like this. You just put the normal stuff in. And then plug this back in. And yay, you're done. Cha-cha! A killer axe! 
who needs a Medagaburu? Right? <laughs> so this is how it awkwardly stands. Mm. Fake mask for life. Okay, so that's it. I think I have nothing to review anymore except for last time because it doesn't fit right now. So I'm trying my best. So yeah. So Nico, what is your thoughts about this figure? It's a really good figure. It's one of my few Comrade figures that I have before I started as a trap last year. So for what it's able to do, it's great because claws comes with an axe. He looks he looks like a really bulky character. Ah. Works. Yep. So for me, because my first experience on a Figma, I have to say it's really fun to play with, uh, especially like how you sort sort the hands and stuff more easily. Yeah. Easier. Yeah. And I have to like be careful of some stuff. Yes. Yeah. And I'm impressed that they come with a free ziplock bag, so you don't need to bring the box out all the time. But of course, you need to be careful. Yeah, true. Could be shout and break the hole. Yeah. See, free man, it's a free bag. Who doesn't want it? Wait, so all fake must get a free bag? Yeah, all fake must get a free bag. And a stand? Yeah. And chosable hands? Yeah. Ah, so that's another avant. That, so that's another good thing why you should get a Figma. Is it? Kind of lah, but if you are a really diehard collector, go for Ryuki if you want to YOLO. You mean Dragon Knight? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's it for my review. Hope you guys like it. Do subscribe to Nikasa's figure reviews. Yep. Do like, share and subscribe to this video. And do comment down below on what other figmas you want to see I may do. More, I guess. Yeah. If I if I can find it lah. So yeah. See you guys next time. Bye.